In this practical, we'll be writing a function to find the overlap between two strings. This function will be a building block in a lot of our later genome assembly functions. So I'm going to define a function overlap, and this will take as arguments two strings a and b, and the minimum length of overlap. And it will find the overlap between a and b, uh, as ensuring that b comes after a, so it won't put b before a for this overlap. Mm. So it's a suffix of a and a prefix of b involved in the overlap. Right. So uh, we'll um, create an index uh, start. Um, and so for this function, we're going to be using the find algorithm in Python. And we're going to be saying a dot find. Uh, so we're going to look in A for the prefix of length, min length of B. And this will find us the next occurrence of this in A. And we can also add the argument start, and this tells, it, tells the function uh, what index to start looking from in A. Mm. And so we're going to do this multiple times. So we're going to put this in a while loop. We're going to say while true, uh, search for the next occurrence of the prefix of B in A. Um, now, if there's no occurrence of this, uh, there's no occurrence of this prefix in A, then this function will return B, um, or sorry, it will return negative one. So, I'll say if start equals negative one, uh, then there is no overlap between them. You need a double equal sign there. Right. Uh, so in this case, we'll return zero. Um, but if start is not negative one, this means we found an occurrence of the prefix of B in A. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do now is just check that the rest of B matches the rest of A. Um, so we'll say if B dot starts with um, the suffix of A from start onward, this would just verifies that the prefix of B is equal to the suffix of A starting at position start. Then we'll return um, the length of A minus start, and this is the length of the overlap. Um, if, the, if, this is, uh, if this is not true, then we're going to re-enter our loop and search for the next occurrence of that prefix in A. Um, so you want to increment start uh, so that we don't just find the same, pre same location over and over again. Hmm. So when you call a dot find with those two arguments, the second argument is telling it this is the leftmost offset that I care about finding a match at. Right. Okay. Uh, and this is our overlap function. So it will either return zero if there's no overlap, or if the overlap, if the smallest overlap is less than or equal to three, or is less than three. Hmm. If not, it will return the length of the longest overlap between a and b. Uh, so let's test this out with some strings. So in this case, I uh, made these strings so that CGT uh, should match between both of them. And we get an overlap of three. Um, if our overlap is less than three, so let me copy this, but make an overlap of only two, now it will return zero which is what we want.